Before this video begins, I would just like to make an apology. For one of these scenes I show you, one of the most important parts of this video was filmed vertically. I do 100% apologize for this, and it was not meant to happen. There's really nothing I can do about it now, so hopefully you got good ears and can listen to the dates and uh, mint marks that were on those coins. Without further ado, let's get into the video. What is up everybody? Today I got myself a $110 Amazon package that contains a roll of Mercury Dimes. Now I'm recording this in 2020 and I know my red book is outdated, but it still contains all of the Mercury Dimes from 1916 to 1945. And I got myself a brand new Mercury Dime book just a week prior to this video. So far I got myself a 1923. Now beware of 1923 Denver's, they are counterfeit. And I also got myself a bunch of others right here, including almost a mint state in 1944 Denver. 1937, 38, 41, 42, 43s, and of course my 44s. And from the reviews I've been reading so far on the Amazon uh, items, they are mostly 40s. And so I won't be keeping all of these. I'll be most likely giving them away. So this is the receipt I have received from Joel D. Retu Rare Coins on Amazon. I've actually ripped the top part off because they do not like to stop putting my address on there. So, yeah, this is pretty much what it is. 1916 to 1945, 90% silver roll of mercury dimes. Supposed to be 50 of them, $5 face value. With a unit price of $105. No, I did pay taxes, so... Yeah, it was pretty much $112 I paid for this whole thing. And um, I'm about to count them all real quick to make sure I got all 50. And then I'll check everything for the dates, errors and varieties, and all that other stuff. Alrighty, we got ourselves the end products. So all 50 have been opened. So you got some five oddities out there. I'll get to those in just a minute. They're not really oddities, but older dates. We got ourselves a 1934. Oh yeah, just real quick before I continue. The top row is no mint. The middle row is Denver minted, and the bottom will be S minted. And there are no errors, no varieties. There's no 42s over 41s. There's no micro S's. I did not spot any that I know of or the red book spots. So what I got here is a 34, 35s, 36s, 37s, 38s, 39s, 40s, 41s, a bunch of 42s, 43s, a bunch of 44s and 45s. And up top here, we got ourselves almost unreadables. We got what looks to be a 1929, and I couldn't tell what mint mark was on there. A 1926, also I don't know what mint mark is on there. A 25, I also don't know mint mark. 23, don't know the mint mark. And I can't even read the date on this one, but it's definitely a 1918 or 1919. Also, once again, can't read the mint. Now, many of you might be asking, how much is all this worth? Like, is it worth buying all this? With no oddities, or uh, most of them in G4, the uh, fine condition, I don't think any of these are mint state except for uh, maybe this one. Maybe. But if I were to take the average of each G4, three dollars or two dollars and 75 cents and multiply it by 50 that'll be how much you get all right so i just did the math on my calculator if you had two dollars and 75 cents for each dime you would come up to 137 dollars 5. now i'm no coin expert i'm an amateur who's still running off the uh, red book but as far as my knowledge yes this is definitely worth it i would definitely buy this again Especially if you can get yourself a profit. You got yourself $137. $137.5. And they're not all 40s. Although the majority are 40s. I still got one from the teens. And I got plenty of spaces to fill in my Mercury Dime book. And that about wraps up this video. Uh, the Mercury Dime review. Now if you have any questions. I probably won't be any use. I'm still just an amateur at this. But this is from my knowledge right here. If you want to try and ask me a question, I may be able to answer it. But most likely, I'm just going to uh, just Google it or something. Or maybe look at my red book if I need to. But that's about it. See you guys next time.